Meghan and Harry list all the best photos from their trip to New York City. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended Saturday's Global Citizen Live event in Central Park. Prince Harry and Meghan have arrived in New York City for their first joint appearances since their daughter, Lilibet, was born on June. It was announced this week that the couple will be traveling to New York City to participate in Global Citizen Live, which aims to promote equal access to the vaccine. The 24-hour event. Harry and Meghan have participated in vaccine advocacy throughout the pandemic and served as co-chairs of Global Citizens Vax Live event over the summer. They started off their long weekend in the Big Apple by visiting One World Observatory, where they met with government officials and received a tour of the site and the Nine Stroke Eleven Memorial, telling reporters it's wonderful to be back. They also made trips to the United Nations and an elementary school in Harlem prior to Saturday's event. While speaking on stage at Global Citizen Live, Megan said, it is so good to be back here with all of you. Look, we know that it feels like this pandemic has been going on forever, according to E.T. It is a lot and some people are just over it, there is so much that we can do today, now, that can get us closer to end the pandemic. The Sussexes met Governor Kathy Hatchell, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, his wife Charlene McRae, and son Dante de Blasio at the One World Trade Center Observatory. Afterward, Harry and Meghan toured the building in Nine Stroke Eleven Memorial Grounds with the group. Their visit to the memorial falls less than two weeks since the 20-year anniversary of the Nine Stroke Eleven attacks. They posed for a photo with Governor Hochul and Mayor de Blasio. Harry and Meghan were seen smiling as they departed from the site. Later, Harry and Meghan met with UN Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield to discuss issues related to pandemic, racial justice, and mental health. Thomas Greenfield took to Twitter to share photos of the afternoon. Wonderful meeting with Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, she wrote. The Sussex's next stop was their World Health Organization's offices where they discussed global vaccine equity with world leaders, experts, and activists. Chelsea Clinton was among the participants. Today's meeting was a much appreciated opportunity to learn from some of the most respected experts who are working tirelessly to end this pandemic, the Sussexes said at the event. Building on ongoing conversations we've had with global leaders over the past 18 months. Today further reinforced our commitment to vaccine equity. We are so encouraged by the spirit of collaboration we heard throughout our conversation and are eager to do our part. On Friday morning, Harry and Meghan headed to elementary school PS 123 Mahalia Jackson, located in Harlem, to meet with students. The couple read Meghan's book, The Bench, to the school's second grade class. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also admired the piece of artwork completed by fourth and fifth grade students. They also discussed the school's efforts to promote healthy eating throughout the community. And donated two garden boxes of vegetables and herbs. Prince Harry sat with the students as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex read aloud. The couple stayed in Harlem for lunch, eating at Melba's. On Saturday, the couple attended Global Citizen Live, the event that spurred their trip. The concert was held to promote equal access to the vaccine. The Sussexes spoke on stage during the event. It is so good to be back here with all of you. Megan said, Pretty. There is so much that we can do today, now, that can get us closer to end the pandemic. Afterwards, the couple was seen smiling backstage. Meghan upgraded her engagement ring from Prince Harry just 18 months after the Duke of Sussex proposed to the Duchess in 2017. At the same time that Prince Harry gifted her an eternity ring to mark their first wedding anniversary. In Royal Biography, Finding Freedom, authors Ahmed Scobie and Caroline Durand revealed that the eternity ring included Meghan. Harry and son Archie Harrison Mountbatten wins as birthstones, but there's more to it than just paying homage to the family. These birthstones also offer some health benefits. Here's what each of the birthstones on Meghan's ring is said to do. Peridot is Meghan's birthstone, and according to the experts, it can help with asthma, sinuses, and alleviating illness in the eye, stomach, thyroid and liver. Emerald is Harry's birthstone, and is believed to help lift mood, cure insomnia, and detoxify the blood. Meghan and Harry's son Archie's birthstone, Sapphire, Meanwhile, strengthens you to deal with anxiety, stress, depression and insomnia.
Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.